People who have walked out in the middle of a date. What happened? I walked out even before the date started because my date brought his friend with him. They arrived in a car and asked me to jump in. I remember that episode of Bang Bus. It was super short. I didn't walk out on a date, but my first date after 10 years following the split up of my marriage went to such. I arrived 10 minutes early to the bar and find a nice table. She arrives 10 minutes late. She walks to the table and looks at me. She starts to laugh. She walks back out. I go home and cry myself to sleep nursing a bottle of whiskey. You don't want to be with someone that terrible. Mine didn't even turn into a date. I bowled on a team once a week and chatted with a guy that came in the same nights with his family. We finally made a date, and as soon as I got in his car he asked me to marry him. He pulled a ring out of the glove compartment and said he was in the navy and was scheduled to be relocated to Germany in two weeks. I was shocked and scared. Told him he was nice and I would write to him but it was just weird. I never heard from him again. Navy gives you a pay raise and pays for off base non barracks housing if you are married. He just wanted the extra pay perks. On the fourth date she tells me the real reason she changed jobs. She used to be a prison guard and had cancer so all the medical stuff forced her change of work. Now she works as a nurse. This is important. She tells me in a totally casual way that because of having cancer she felt like she needed to let go and be exciting so she started dating two prisoners that were there. She used to smuggle them in cell phones and other stuff. Asked her how out of pure morbid curiosity and she tells me women have natural pockets that fit lots of stuff. Then tells me she was caught because someone walked in on them having sex in his cell and the other inmate she was dating got jealous and turned them in said the reason she wasn't in jail was because the psychologist testified she was in an altered mental state because of the cancer. She went to the bathroom and I promptly ran like heck. She called me every day for two weeks before giving up. Man, I had cancer and had no idea I could get away with crap like this because of my altered mental state. So men are missed opportunities. I ditched the date at the bar we were at after she told me she got mad at her ex over basically nothing and then proceeded to ruin his mint classic car. She also casually mentioned being arrested over something else related to aggressive behavior. I would have remembered what it was she did had I not checked out right then and there. Faked going to the restroom. Then promptly paid my tab and left. Why would you think that that's even a thing to tell someone on a first date? We met outside of one of my favorite restaurants. She was texting on her phone, shook my hand, and barely looked up. We get seated all the while still on her phone texting. So I asked her normal date things to only get yes and eventually a hold on a second after my third attempt at striking up any sort of conversation. I asked if everything was okay. I figured after the hold on a second comment something bad might have happened. She responded by saying her friends are a priority. I was kind of taken back. Our waitress walks up right after that and she cuts her off as she's greeting us with a huffy finally then barks her drink order at her about as rudely as possible and goes right back to her phone. I asked for water, said excuse me and got up after about a minute of silence. I found the waitress, gave her a 20, and said I was leaving and apologized. Quickest date of my life. All in 10-15 minutes maximum. I've never met anyone close to that rude on a date in my life. I always tell myself I got all my bad dates in one. Here's to hoping that's true. Oh god, this sounds like the couple my so and I were eating next to. She was on her phone the whole time, on snapchat. She wasn't even looking at the guy and didn't even look up when the waitress came over. I just wanted to start chatting to the dude so she would get the point. So freaking ignorant and rude. Met at a cafe. Actually walked toward the wrong dude. Similar haircut. Blurry photos. We realized what happened and laughed it off. Told the real dude about it when he showed up and he was not amused. Strike one. That's hilarious. Got coffee. Sat in a nearby public park. He brags about his career in professional gambling. Looks surprised I know some basic easy details. Insults his friends. Let's me know ahead of time he parked his car and has to move it. Fair enough. I offer to walk toward it and stand there while he moves around the block. Parking is tough here. Walks me a mile. Passing many open parking places. To under an overpass. Still bright out but this is weird. 
Car is a large windowless white van in which he reveals he is currently sleeping because his roommate has sexiled him semi-permanently. I don't buy it. It becomes clear he wants me to get in the van to help move it. At this point I'll let him know that I don't think I'm getting him there. But thanks. Quick hug goodbye. Leave. He's incredulous. Doesn't push it. Drives off. To his credit he texts later in the day apologizing for creeping me out. Rewind to the first guy and try him instead. Guy from the gym asked me out for coffee. We hit it off and walked to the beach afterwards. We sit on a wall watching the ocean and he tells me he gives amazing foot rubs and insists on giving me one. He takes off my flip flop and is really into my feet. Toes go into his mouth and I noped out. That's happened to me once except I wasn't on a date. I was at my local pool. I was sitting on the edge with my feet in the water. This guy starts talking to me who's in the pool. Then someone distracts me. I look away and the next thing I know my toes are in his mouth. I ran away. I was 16. We were on our second date. He bought me two beers. A slow song was playing and he wanted to slow dance. As soon as we hit the floor he wanted to shove his tongue down my throat. I said I just wanted to dance and talk. Get to know each other. His response? Well I just bought you two beers I walked off the dance floor. Put cash on the table to cover my BRS and walked out the door. Yuck. The whole I bought you a drink. You owe me thing needs to die. I don't do anything expensive for first dates. My go to is walking around a public lily pad garden then playing mini golf around the corner. Sometimes. Based on the interests in her profile. I'll do something different like going to a museum or the planetarium. I met this great girl and we really hit it off. Based on her profile. I thought she would love the South American exhibit at the local museum so we went there for our first date. We got banana splits afterwards and I thought it was a pretty good date. I was looking forward to seeing her again. She had some work stuff then I had some work stuff but after like 3 weeks we made it happen. We were going to see a movie and go eat at a little restaurant but she was 30 minutes late sk we just went to go eat. She spent the first 10 minutes talking crap about the last guy she dated that took her to a stupid museum then out for a banana split. She bitched that her last date was too cheap to buy her dinner like a real man. She kept talking and talking and talking. I excused myself from the table, paid for my drink and half the appetizer, and left. Blocked her on the app and phone. Didn't even get as far as the date. I met a girl on the weekend at a table quiz in a pub. She was a friend of my cousin who I was there to fill out a team with. Myself and herself swap numbers and got talking during the week and I asked her on a date for coffee, scheduled for the Saturday. On the Friday she told me that if I loved her and wanted this relationship to work I should bring her on holidays and to hotels and stuff. I told her I wasn't going to be meeting her for coffee the following day and haven't seen her since. That went from zero to stalker level fast. I got walked out on in a valentine's date. She was yelling at the waitress about wing sauce. There wasn't enough on the wings. I told her she was making an butt out of herself and she walked out. Everyone's out here saying they just walked out when their date was right to the wait staff. I'm too confrontational. I would straight up tell my date they're being a douchebag. Then walk out. On a first date, Starbucks was super crowded so we sat in his car and chatted. He asked if I wanted to watch a movie in the car. I said sure, but I wasn't really paying attention. We talked some more and suddenly I started hearing this moaning. Yeah, he put on pee. I was shocked and asked him what the heck he was thinking. He then whipped out his dong and asked me to suck it. Nope. Done. Called me two weeks later and asked why he hadn't heard back from me. He took out his penis randomly without warning while we were hiking at 2pm on a Sunday on a busy trail with lots of families around. I was just like I gotta go. And he was genuinely curious why so I had to explain to him as we were hiking back up the trail towards the parking lot about how indecent exposure is against the law. I cringe so hard thinking that this is a real person out in the world. Went to dinner and a movie with a female co-worker who had been expressing a lot of interest in me. After a very flirtatious dinner we get to the theater and run into another male co-worker, whom she apparently invited. I'm thinking WTF is this crap? We sit down and she lays her head against my shoulder. Holds my hand so I'm thinking okay maybe this is just kind of an odd thing because she's all over me so whatever, and then halfway through the movie she switches up and drapes herself over him. 
I know where some of you might be thinking she was going with this but I'm very certain she wasn't looking for a three way. I'm not all that invested in her so I don't just bail. You know. I paid to see the movie so frick it I'm going to watch it. So the movie ends and we get to the lobby and she heads to the bathroom leaving the two of us guys there to wait for her. And I just turn to him. Put my hand on his shoulder and tell him. Dude, she is all yours and take my freaking leave. After working there a while I could see she suffered from princess syndrome where we were supposed to prostrate ourselves in competition for her affection and cheapen our value in order to affirm hers. Nah thanks. She bragged about how mean her son was and how he liked to beat up other kids and she laughed about it. I just don't understand that. Her her my son is a dong and he beats up other kids at school. LOL at Emmy and my crappy parenting. She showed up late, spoke in one word answers, stared at her phone and texted other people, yelled at the waiter for filling her water too much. I finished my food, placed a $20 on the table, walked out, then blocked her on my phone. I would say I don't think she even noticed, but I was her ride home. Best part is, I bet when she relays the story, you're the dong who left her stranded at the restaurant. Went to TGI's. She sent back a cocktail three times saying it isn't right. Gave me a spiel that I had to order for her. Weird. Waiter came and I ordered what she asked for. Chicken quesadillas. Got kicked under table by her and said WTF to her. Waiter awkwardly left and she said she wanted a burger. I replied that she never said that. It's no biggie. I'll go ask waiter to change it. She went ape crap. Caused a big scene. I feigned going to toilet. Luckily didn't have a jacket. Slipped waiter money to which he said he'll just void the order and to go quickly. She chased me shouting through streets for one kilometer. I had an iPhone at time so couldn't block her number. Points to that waiter for telling you to GTFO quickly. She must have been a regular nut or something. Went out with a woman I met on a website. In the photos I didn't have glasses on because of the glare but fully disclosed that I was blind as a bat. I was also clean shaven in the photos. Within 10 minutes of meeting she started in on how if I wanted to continue to see her I'd need to get contacts and shave off the 5 o'clock shadow. She was lame. I'm one of many, many women who dig guys in glasses. And 5 o'clock shadow is sexy ath. You dodged a bullet. I've posted this before, but it's a perfect fit here. One of my co-workers set me up on a blind date with one of their friends. I've never done a blind date before by my co-worker insisted that we would get along great. I coordinate with them and settle on going to a local outdoor mall to grab some lunch and then go to a candy making class later. I like dates to involve some sort of craft. It gives us a chance to talk more and is more memorable. Or at least I think it is. Come the day of the date I show up early. Like about 15 minutes early at least. My date is already there so I go up and introduce myself. We chat for a bit and eventually I suggest we go inside the restaurant and grab lunch. She informs me that she already ate and she'd rather keep going than wait any longer. Okay. I guess she was just really hungry. Weird. But I can forgive understand that. So she wants to look at this store that just opened on the other side of the shopping center. So we get in my car. The shopping center is actually quite large. A few miles from one end to the other. While driving there she keeps complimenting how nice my car is and keeps asking what type of job I have. Implying I make big bucks. I should also note that this is the first time she put away her phone. I'm already checking out from this date. Eventually we wind up in a department store where she starts trying on clothes. She comes out and asks me what I think of the blouse she just tried on. I tell her I think it looks good on her and fits her well. She says I should buy it for her if it looks that good on her. I laugh. Good joke. No way she's asking a guy she just met in the past 30 minutes to buy her a blouse with a 3 figure price tag. Oh wait. She's crying or screaming now. Apparently she's tired of men leading her on. Telling her she's pretty but not putting their money where their mouth is. As soon as she said that, it all clicked and I knew what was going on. I asked her to calm down and told her that although I thought the blouse was pretty, I didn't think the cut fit her figure well enough. Nor did the color compliment her eyes so I didn't want to buy it. I asked her to go back inside and change into her clothes so that we could go look at something that was better. Then I would buy it. She calmed down and went back went back inside. I apologized to the store clerk. Then walked out and drove away. Leaving her over a mile away from her car. I'm a person. Not a bank. 
I don't really believe in like, the Nazis and the Holocaust and all that stuff. It just doesn't sound realistic and I read a bunch of stuff about how it's statistically impossible to kill that many people that fast. Also everyone knows the Jews like to make stuff up for sympathy. This was on our third date. This one made me want to leave my computer mid-read. I essentially got catfished by a coworker. There had been some mutual attraction months before but I decided it wasn't a good idea and told her we should just be friends. Then she made a fake online dating profile, used her knowledge of my likes dislikes to attract me to this profile, carried on extensive communication pretending to be someone else, and then showed up to our date expecting me to suddenly fall head over heels in love with her. She showed up at the date and I asked her what she was doing there. She replied I think you know why I'm here and I got in my car and left without saying anything. 8 years later and her cubicle is still 15 feet away from mine. Dang that's weird as frick. Girl bragged about purposely finding and trying to hit and kill cats with her car. Frick that. Faked going to the restroom and called a cab. Best part was that it was a double date. My buddy John went to the bathroom with me and bailed too. Also her psycho friend chimed in that she did the same crap. Also they both bragged about their pill addictions. Peaced out quick. We were sitting in a movie and he put his hand on my thigh. I didn't want him to put his hand on my thigh, so I very gently took his hand and removed it. He moved it back. I moved it away. He moved it back. I told him to stop touching my leg. He laughed and put his hand even higher on my thigh. I grabbed my crap, left, and he followed me into the lobby of the theater acting like he had no clue why I was upset. I had to raise my voice and cause a slight scene to get him to stop following me. Good times. Sigh. She wanted to order some water to drink and after asking me who would pay, which of course I was going to do, she switched her drink to something more expensive. I didn't think much of it at the time but as she was being very rude for the rest of the date I left and realized I should have left when she changed her order after realizing I would pay. You should have told her something like I was gonna pay until you turned out to be a horrible person. So I think we'll split it. Apparently he catfishes atheist and agnostic people on dating sites for the purpose of trying to convert them over a meal. I made it until the apps hit the table. Then I excused myself, asked a waiter to wrap up my dinner and leave it at the bar, gave him enough to cover more than half the bill and tip, then let my date know I was done leaving and waited at the bar for my dinner to go. He left shortly thereafter. Bartender and waiter calmed my check after hearing the story. This was around 1990 to 1991. The first cell phones were as large as a bread box. He kept answering his phone all through dinner. I asked him a few times to knock it off as it's rude. He didn't so. I just got up and walked out. He followed yelling at me that I'm a crazy bee. She actually told me a story of deliberately and falsely accusing a guy of rape. This was during the meal at a restaurant. I decided to never be alone with her and left while she went to the bathroom. I left money on the table to roughly cover my meal. Smart move. That's disgusting. I can't believe someone would willingly admit they had done something like that. I knew this girl for like 2 years from college and had a huge crush on her, but we were best friends. I ran out and asked her if she wanted to grab a coffee with me, as a date. So we were talking and she started telling me about all the guys she's fricked, which I don't give a frick about I also dated during that period but I wouldn't brag about it to her. Anyway, she started saying that if she started dating me I would probably be the ugliest guy she was ever with and she would be embarrassed when sometimes people get the wrong idea about us. I almost started to cry. I love this girl so much and that really hurt my pride. We were best friends and she usually wasn't like that. I told her my feelings and just left. This was recently and I don't know what to do. Jeez man. Sounds like she's a horrible person. Don't mind her. Second or third date. Picked her up at home. Parents had swastika flags at home. She was confused that I had a problem with that. I'm from Germany. It was a first date. She showed up 45 minutes late because she couldn't find the place. She barely contributed anything to the conversation. Then we decided to drive over to another place literally a 5 minute car ride away, and she got lost on the way there too. She had a functional GPS, 
the same one that I was using that navigated me there perfectly. And these were not hidden locations, they were well signposted national parks. That is the day I learned that a certain level of incompetence is a giant turn off for me. I was sitting on a rock for about 30 minutes before I just texted her I'm going to just go grab some lunch, thanks. She brought a baby names book she just happened to pick up on the way to meeting up with me and asked what I thought of the name summer for a baby girl. I like it more than spring. Oh man. My friend wanted me to have a date to homecoming so she set up a blind date with her brother's friend. This guy shows up wearing a Canadian tuxedo and leather wristbands. I was like oh no this won't be good. I gave him the benefit of the doubt though. We got into his car and I asked him where he was planning on going to college. He said that he was planning to go out of state. But now that we were together he would stay home. Oh crap. I'm stuck in the car with a crazy. We get to the movie theater and he says he will wear his nice black jeans to homecoming and I said I was just going to go with friends. He got visibly pee off but once we were in the theater, would not stop talking the whole time about how amazing I am. I said I felt ill, got up and left and walked the 2 miles home. He non-stop called me for months and a couple times I saw his car outside my place. Later found out that he had a shrine in his house with Barbies. Thought they looked like me, and the movie Sweet Home Alabama, the movie we went to, it's so creepy. Congrats on not becoming this guy's skin suit. Mine was just super uncomfortable. After a few days of texting on Tinder we met up for dinner and the whole time he kept talking about how he's always wanted to frick a black girl. Fun fact I am not black just brown skin, and how I am the first one to actually agree to go on a date with him. He fetishized, SP black women the entire time and it was super weird. I really loved the restaurant though so I toughed it out. I went up to the bathroom and talked to my waitress about paying my half of the tab and I walked out without looking back. He sent me a slew f really mean racist texts after so obviously I made the right choice getting the frick out of there. The only other time I walked out was about a year ago I went out with a super hot guy. It was just supposed to be for an easy lay but we met for drinks to make sure there was a connection. One the date he told me how he doesn't really take no for an answer and how all women has a rape fantasy so he loves being forceful until they submit to him. It was honestly terrifying hearing how proud he was of this. I lied to him and said I was dominant and not interested in sleeping with dominant men he literally said I love forcing women like you the most to show you your place. I got up to the restroom and got the frick out ASAP. I reported him on Bumble and he got removed from the app but holy crap was he terrifying. I have no idea if he actually has raped anyone but I won't be surprised tbh. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.